Hey DJ, what ship should I buy in Star Citizen? Buy the Connie! No, buy the Vanguard! You must buy Cutlass Black! Nope, you guessed it. Wrong question asked. The question you should really ask yourself is, why should I buy a new ship at all? Generally, there are three main reasons why you should buy a new ship. A. You like to unlock a new game loop that is currently not open to you, such as salvaging or mining. B. You like to improve in a game loop that you like, and maybe you would like the top tier ship for that game loop that is really specialized. Or C. You are looking for a generalist ship that can do many game loops and become your daily driver. Whatever decision you make, buying a ship should improve your overall game progress. Imagine you're a new player just starting out with your starter ship, maybe an Aurora. Then you are definitely in the early game and pretty much limited to basic missions, such as bunkers, monitor missions, box delivery missions. You can of course then upgrade to an Avenger Titan. That can do all these basic missions pretty well, but eventually you want to make a big step ahead. So maybe your next ship should be a generalist ship, such as the Cutlass Black which is a fantastic option for an affordable price that you can buy in-game. With a Cutlass you can do higher bounty missions, you have a cargo space for a bit of transportation or even trading, but maybe instead you would like to open a new game loop. So you could for example buy the Freelancer Max for entry-level cargo hauling, or you could buy a Prospector or a Rock if you like mining. Ok DJ got it, but what if I want to make some serious space bugs now? So in this case, you either need a better generalist, such as for example the Drake Corsair, or you can open even more game loops, such as salvaging with a Drake Vulture. Or maybe you would like to buy a ship that does bounty hunting really well. In this case, the Vanguard Sentinel is a really affordable option. Ok ok, what's in for me in the endgame? In the endgame you have the top-notch ships that can usually make a lot of space money in a certain game loop. On the other hand, these top-tier ships come at a high price. For example, if you like cargo hauling, then the Caterpillar will cost you 4.7 million Alpha UEC in-game, or the Hercules C2 will cost you around 4.9 million Alpha UEC. If you want to go multi-crew salvaging, then the Reclaimer will set you back 15 million Alpha UEC in the game. Impossible to make that much money? Well, yes and no. Overall, what I would do if I was just starting out and just had my Avenger Titan again, I would definitely go grinding the basic missions, bunkers, monitor, whatever you prefer, and then buy my personal money maker ship. And currently in version 3.22, there is something like a no-brainer option for this. For me, that is the Drake Vulture. Salvaging missions basically make money out of thin air, and that's exactly what I want. And best thing is that currently the Vulture will cost you only 1.3 million Alpha UEC in the game. The Drake Vulture then can make me enough money to buy a big ship for my currently favorite game loop, the cargo hauling, and for me that would be the Hercules C2. If salvaging is not your cup of tea, then maybe the Cutlass Black would be another good option for you. With a price of well below 1.4 million Alpha UEC, it is really well costed and will allow many different game loops to make some space money. If you like to go bounty hunting, then the Vanguard Sentinel is a really good option for just around 2 million Alpha UEC. Personally, I prefer the Ares series, and especially now, I really learned to like the Ares Inferno very much. But they come at a higher price than the Vanguard. Let's quickly check on buying ships in the pledge store for real money. I'm not telling you whether you should spend or not, but for the reasons mentioned before, I've upgraded my game package to a Constellation Taurus which can serve as my daily driver should there be a full wipe again. Also I have pledged for the Drake Vulture to hopefully have a real money making ship then, or at least a ship that can make some money out of thin air. How do you base your buying decisions and what in your opinion are the best ships to buy in game or in the pledge store? And as always, if you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the verse.